Hello Strutters, Dan here, playing Enchantress in Modern. Against Elite Gecko. He's not a normal Gecko, he's Elite. Wow, what a bad hand. Terrible. But I can't throw it back. This deck mulligans pretty bad. I got like 3, 4, 5 at least. But it's borderline. Ouch! He took the sigil, but uh, that feels very... Uh, it's a long time left until the sigil comes into play. And he will be able to kill these two creatures if he's playing 8-rack, but it's not necessarily 8-rack. Search for tomorrow. Interesting. I don't know what he's playing. Could be anything. I am defeating myself here, I feel. Here's a sprawl, at least. For white, then. I think I'm gonna start with Corsair anyway, just to draw out the removal. It's not that far-fetched if he has some sort of combo, I just died to combo though. Before Cyborg, it looks very combo-ish I feel. But I am still going for Corsair land here. As I do expect removal. There's an Arbor Elf. Please don't die, Mr. Corsair. I think he's gonna play something huge. Something giganormous, like just a titan here, and I am pretty done for unless I can draw a Lilian of the Dark Realms. Lots and lots of loyalty. She searches for a swamp card. But she can't really defend herself here. Oh, of course. There is no removal spell. Interesting. So I uh, got to attack Liliana the Dark Realms. And uh, I do that. No! Huh? Nothing. Interesting. Attack Lilian of the Dark Realms. Now my question is if I should wait with the Eidolon. But he can he could just as easily discard it from my hand. So I am getting a land. And I am playing this guy. I get the sprawl, so I will play that to get the extra card here. And an Ixlis Ram. But now I expect to find something dangerous facing me. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, that guy. He untaps lands. 
Da haben wir nicht schon. Golgori Super Friends. Kicking my butt. That's what I expect. If I still get to make an attack, I will of course take out Garruk here. He is much more dangerous than Liliana of the Dark Realms. Wow, he survives. Which is kind of good. I think I'm paying two life here. Uh, why did I do that? And now I just have lands and cannot attack. So um, death is imminent. Oblivion Ring deals with this stuff, but I already have four in the deck. Planeswalkers is a liability of this deck. Of course, my um, my enchantments that stops attacks will still work against him. But uh, they are not here. Absolutely nothing is going on in my deck. We need Arbor Elf, we need the Corsair. Uh, 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 oh, he will get the emblem. What? That was bad. So now I can block with the Arbor Elf to not take six. But taking six is not the end of the world here, is it? So I'll just take it, I guess. Are all the temple gardens gone? No, I still have one in the deck. Okay, no lands left. Ah, except for Nyctos and uh, a couple of basics. <laughs> Then I got rid of the... <laughs> I shouldn't have done that because I wanted that Eidolon. Hmm. Terrible decision. That was my only hope. I wonder if he has any non-attacking creature that can win the game for him. I'll take another hit here, I think. Maybe I shouldn't because the ultimate costs four though. <sighs> I 
We could get the freak Emmer cool here. We are dead right to to the trample attack. But it doesn't come for another turn, so we have one more chance. Turning uh, the worm coil, of course, should help. Yeah, he has a lot of mana. One more. Yeah, would it foot is worthless? I should have discarded that first. Now I am going to block the worm coil to not get into range of nasty stuff next turn. So block, block. Gain a life. Journey the worm coil. It's just too little too late, isn't it? And Luminarch Ascension is not gonna do anything. He gets up to 817 power. No, he can't kill me. But it's pretty close. No card in hand. It's too early to ultimate. He can just make a creature and then ultimate next turn. But he doesn't, so I live another turn. He will do 12. No, he does. So I'm dead. Look at that. Now there will be the decision point in my upkeep here if I should get rid of. Question is, can I still survive? I can. No. He now gets 9, 11, 23 power, and I can block only 6. Wow. The goats are coming for me. And he doesn't ultimate. So I get another turn. Which means I sh should get rid of the land. Oh, the cleverness. And I can get rid of it here, of course, so I don't need to do it on my turn. Let's do it. For an Arbor Elf. That's not what I wanted. Look at that beautiful card. Six. I feel Nyctos is pretty weak here, it was suggested to me, but here Nyctos just gives me one extra mana. Two extra for green. So I can get 4, 8, 10, 14. Right? Four. 
4, 8, 10, 14. It doesn't work. Well, we'll do another calculation next turn if we're still alive, and we will be, right? But then we have to block with everything to stay alive. Look at how worthless Illuminarch Ascension is here as soon as you're losing. <laughs> okay. And now he just does. Just 9, 13, 25 power. I can block with 7. I'm just dead. No, he can't ultimate. Sweet. We can survive a hit from Emrakul. <laughs> Definitely need Arbor Elf. But if I draw a land after Emrakul, I can still play it with a Corsair and then I can cast him. I get another turn to draw cards. But I have almost zero lands in my deck. So that should work, right? 4, 6, 10, 14. Here's Emra Cool. Fertile ground means that Nyktos gives me more. I can enchant Nyktos as well. Okay, let's try that. Oh, I can't cast it, of course. It's, it's not in my hand yet. How many green plups? Four and four white. So if I do this for green, it works, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It has to be forest, right? So <laughs> I end up with 14. It's not enough. <laughs> But uh, that's, no, it's 13. Oh, 14, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do we need here? I think we definitely need to stop his attack. Hmm. No, oh, they were two colors. Nixley's ram didn't do a whole lot, did it? But then we, maybe Nixie's Ram is more useful than Story Circle. Maybe I'm underestimating Story Circle. But the problem was the, uh, the Planeswalkers. Let me know what you think. Maybe Luminarch Ascension was... Worse than Story Circle. I asked him for a deck name, he was pretty friendly. Now oh, here's nothing again. But I hope to draw into stuff. And 
telling him that it will be a video. Hope he doesn't quit for it. Uh, okay, get the lands we want to have. Play fertile ground. We're gonna get thought seized so hard. But he will take sigil. Will he do the famous five damage? No, it's it's Utopia Sprawl. So we get to do a land. We don't take any damage. Play fertile ground. The forest. No discard yet. Now oh, there could be discard. For that, we already have four. Can I afford to discard Winds of Teeth here? I think I can. Uh, okay. Ghostly Prison or Great Romancy. Well, Great Romancy sort of solves everything. If he is relying on removal, an um, enchantment removal here. Stupid ghost quarter. Uh, I'm getting a green mana. Here's a solemn simulacrum. He obviously doesn't have a thought says yet, so we could be good here. We just need to draw another land. <laughs> Eidolon of Blossoms or Ghostly Prison? It has to be Eidolon of Blossoms here. Okay, this is now an open game. Anything can happen. We should see the first planeswalker now. Well, Sigil would just win the game here. I guess it's an exclusive ram. Doesn't do half as much as the other cards. Wow. We can attack. And we can get a plains, a forest. I don't know, what do we want? We don't have any plains. Sigil of the Empty Throne. And something to protect our ghostly prison. Right, party time. Don't kill anything. You can't kill anything. I'm pretty sure you don't have sacrifice effects. Okay, he kills his own card. Has to be good. Uh, 
maybe has another land. Liliana gets a swamp. I think Liliana is uh, not very dangerous, but we are attacking her. And then let's see. Bring out the angels! Ghostly prison. Find oblivion ring for... For Liliana. Is that a mistake? No, I just want to get rid of her. Before she kills... My fantastic creatures. Which oh, she can't. Because they have shroud. I still get rid of the planeswalker seems like a plan. What's the next oblivion ring target? Oh, that's of course trading post. But no such luck. One for one in cards with him though is pretty nice. And we do have two 4-4 four, four flyers here that will not be ignored. I think we're doing pre pretty well here. Now of course he has the Black Sun Sinus. But he can't cast, or ca maybe he can. Can't cast Journey. We are just attacking for 10. I could have journeyed my own angel there. And drawn a card. Got an angel, drawn a card. I feel it's better to sit on it. He is drawing cards. He's fairly desperate. I think Black Sun Sinus is 3 plus X. So he needs 7 mana and he has uh, 6. So that could easily be cast. He just needs to find the land. How are you going to stop them, my friend? Damnation! What is he doing? Five mana rats. Is he just killing the Eidolon? But then I win the game. So I pretty much resign myself to winning with Sigil or Emrakul. That is probably pretty loose. It's just two mana. Oh, okay, of course they get counters. White. And death comes in the air, my friend. Wow, Black Sun Sin is pretty good.
Tranquility. Oh, well, that still doesn't save him. And Emrakul is pretty far-fetched. Maybe I need Luminar Ascension in. Just for Wincon. Oh, he barely lives. Still not that overwhelming here. Exsanguinate feels like a weird card for the deck. That's a multiplayer card, right? So now the Black Sun Zenith. It's Soarin' Markov, but what can he do? Uh, nothing. Uh, I'll attack you. Ta-da! I think I'm bringing in Luminar Ascension again. So many drain things as well, the story circle doesn't affect. Oh, he did uh, make a mistake with Black Sun Zenith, but I think the angel would still have killed him, I'm not sure. But he says he miscounted and I said that it was close games. Do we want Seal of Primordium? But over what? I still feel that he needs to attack me, so one possible outcome of the game is that I just close everything down and then win with one of my three finishers. Ah, stupid Nyctos! But I got Foil Tile Ground and Elf here, so I think I have to keep this. Yeah, this is definitely keep. I can deal with the first Planeswalker. Of course, he's gonna Thought Seize. The Oblivion Ring, no? No such fun stuff. Now we want Corsair out here first. Is that stupid? Possibly is. But I think Corsair would be pretty nice here. Can I get to it some other way? Yeah, of course I can sprawl. For green, untap it, play the Nyctos, play the Corsair, and then we are in business. Except that there is no business coming our way right now at all. Nyctos is working though. Ratchet bomb. Oh my god. That's why we needed Seal of Primordium. So 
So Ratchet Bomb is gonna do a number on us which we cannot do anything about here. He's gonna want to Ratchet Bomb for three but we just have to rebuild after the Ratchet Bomb. Right? Well, this was hard. Or we can just Oblivion Ring the Ratchet Bomb. So, two. Fertile Ground. Tap it. White. Colorless. Oblivion Ring. For the Ratchet Bomb. That felt good. Attack. But now we have nothing. For his Planeswalker. And of course Ghost Quarter just... Hurts us a lot. Life from the loom. So much value and we are not doing much. Mimic what? Okay. Feels dangerous. Oh, Sigil! That's just amazing, right? Uh, Utopia Sprawl for white. Uh, Tapping this for green now is super efficient, right? Fertile ground. We untap it. And uh, that is not a card we have in our hand yet. So now we play next least ram. bit uh, excess mana here and perhaps we should have hold it, held it in our hand because Sigil is not gonna do anything and let's just hope he doesn't draw <laughs> a ghost core Okay, it's all about resolving the sigil now, I feel. But if he kills my forest, I won't be able to cast anything, so I could well lose with uh, sigil in my hand. With sigil on the board. Was it a mistake to play next list round there? I don't know. Doesn't he already have a Raven's Crime? No, he doesn't. So I must avoid Raven's Crime. I must avoid a Ghost Quarter. I must avoid everything. I don't need to avoid Raven's Crime because it's not in my hand. I can cast Emrakul now. Which is pretty sweet. Sorry, Markov. Control target play during target play next turn. Okay, you can make an Arbor Elf for three mana. You are not going to do that. 
Okay, Sigil is out. Play that thing. No. Shield. Hit the planeswalker. Play Sigil. Yes, that's a pretty good position. We are still dead to... Uh, we have unlimited mana now, but we're dead to Ghost Quarter. Okay, and now he can block with an Arbor Elf. But now it's time to go off. So we play this. Tap all of this. Uh, which means that we still can use that thing, but we are just gonna get the planes here. We do get an angel. Which will help us a lot. There is a journey. Well, let's make the attack here. We don't need the mana for anything. Got attack sorry Markov, who is going to be blocked by an Arbor Elf. Oh, he didn't make one. Why didn't he? So we keep... I think I need to journey my own Nixley's Ram here. He gets an Arbor Elf. Oh, you needed it for something. Uh oh, that's not good at all. He's gonna take out the team. Leaving me with no journey target. Target opponent's life total becomes 10. Uh, what? And then he does the sanguinate for 9. Okay. But how do I die? I'm not dead. Oh, look at that. How much green mana is that? Eight. Nine. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, still 14. Uh, 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 uh. So we have to do this some other way. What's the white pip count? It's six. So green pip count trumps white pip count. Hmm. And we definitely want the but now we need the life. We'll attack with... Uh, these three guys. And then we'll journey... 
the angel That feels wrong, but we are going to do it. Draw the card. Get the Corsair. And we can cast that next turn. Solemn Simulacrum. Finally, Nyctos is working. See if he can stop us. This turned out to be quite an interesting game. But he couldn't stop us. So now we just uh, do it, right? Or should I play that land? Mm. Too excited about Emrakul. Fifteen mana. Emrakul is played. And do I now attack? Does it matter? Of course I attack. One less permanent for him to sacrifice. Oh, that's good. Should just have attacked with the flyer. Could remove Winnick, what? But it doesn't really matter, so I will just swing with everything. And I have can rebuild with what I have here. And he's just dead, right? He takes 15 from Emrakul. So uh, he will not live. Fog. Looks like a win for the enchantment deck. This was fun. Yeah, it ends with Emrakul winning. Emrakul, Nyctos, everything worked as planned. Thank you, Elite Gecko, for being a very nice opponent. I've had so many quitters with this deck. Thank you for watching.